I am really, really humbled again for this amazing opportunity to serve Ghana football. I think today there's not been a Keto Kraku winner. The winning team is Ghana, Ghana football. Let's clap for ourselves. We have shown not only to Ghanaians, not only to our West African colleagues, not only to our African colleagues, but to the entire world that we can do it and we can stand for our rights. We have shown that we have a lot of quality in this country. The quality the six of us have shown through our manifestos, our engagements, which has been relatively clean. Again, let's be proud of our achievements. In celebrating this success story, colleagues, it is time for us to work. It is time for us to let go of all our bad feelings. It's time for, for us to forget about the struggles, the fights. It's time to look into the future with hope, to build a new Ghana Football Association that will be amazing, to build big, 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 big products so that everybody, whether you're a direct stop, consumer stop. of the sport, you are corporate Ghana, or you are the international committee to be proud of. Again, it is that time that I will say to all of us, let's stay together. Football is a team sport. Kurt Okraku cannot do it alone. My campaign team cannot do it alone. I salute Alaji Jones Abu Alassan and the entire campaign team. You've been amazing. It is time for us to ignite passion and to create wealth for everybody. Our players, our staff, our groundsmen, our, our clubs, the female teams, the coach teams. In celebrating this success, let us all think at all times that it's Ghana first. We will celebrate this victory today. Tomorrow, work begins. I thank everybody. And in saying this, let me say thank you to my wife, Becky. <laughs> to, to my kids, to my dad, to my mom, and everybody who has believed that I have something to offer Ghana football. I thank you all, and it's time for the game to change. Thank you very much.